I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. All right, this one comes from Dale. He wants to know, he's trying to keep his parents active. He wants to know if there are workouts better suited for the older generation. For example, should they be doing more cardio or weight training? Now, Rainbow, what kind of workout routine would you suggest to your older clients? Well, there is something to be said for the health and beauty of these older yogis. Um, I think that it's because they stand on their head and they go upside down. Reversing gravity, mm -hmm. bringing fresh blood cells and oxygen into the organs and all the twists, as well as it's all about the spine. We are as young as our spine is healthy. Mm, that's so a good if you're note. becoming stiff and you're not working, not just the spine, but all the joints, you know, sometimes we can get into fitness and we forget our toes, arthritis. We forget our wrists, arthritis. Right. So work the joints. So mm -hmm. definitely, obviously, I'm going to say yoga and you want to work holistically. You're not allowed to hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. And then bring that philosophy into whatever else that you're doing. I love that. Mari, is yeah. it safe for the older demographic to be doing weight training? I think that it's safe for the older demographic to be doing anything that they can do. I love anything, that answer. Anything mm -hmm. that they can do safely and correctly. Mm -hmm. And it's important that if, an, if somebody who is a little bit older wants to get deeper into fitness because they feel certain things that they don't like, that they do the homework and find somebody really good to work yes. with them. And it doesn't matter what it is. I don't care. If you have a great yoga teacher, that's better than a bad Pilates teacher. Yes. If you have a bad Pilates teacher, that's worse than a, a fabulous good, weight. Okay. You know what I mean? So uh, I yes. don't know what I'm saying. No, you're right. You're but right, but you right. but you have to do you have to do the research. You have to do the homework. You have to ask them what their experience is. A lot of times, just because somebody has a really beautiful body and think, oh, I think I'll be a trainer, mm -hmm. and you know, you go into a gym and there there she is waiting for you, and, and you think, oh, she looks beautiful. I'll, I'll work with her, and there's no experience. There's nobody right. home. And, so they, they give you incorrect things to do. They give you the, the wrong weights. Uh, a Pilates, I know I've heard of a Pilates trainer putting an uncoordinated man on a big barrel to do a swan oh, with no. a back injury. And, you yes. know, I hear things like yes. this and I'm like, what am I crazy? This is not right. There's something wrong with this. And unfortunately, there's no way to, for, for anyone to monitor that. So it has to be the individual. The individual has to be smart. How long did you train? Where did you train? Where else have you worked? You know, mm -hmm. you have to have all the answers to all those questions. And if somebody feels funny answering those questions, then that's your cue to walk yeah. out the door. And I love it. You know? You also don't necessarily, if some people can't afford trainers and they can't right. afford to have that. Right. So, so another great tip along, my DVD. The, <laughs> along the same line. You can go and buy all of our DVDs. Um, great. I don't there you have go. a DVD. That's it. <laughs>